Hey there, so today I'm going to show you how to properly use uh, Flux and how to do a reflow um, for a Game Boy game. Now this can apply to anything really, but if you're first getting started out, um, you probably want to practice on a Game Boy game. Now, uh, <clears throat> this, uh, this Game Boy game is absolutely unsavable. Um, unless you want to do, uh, do some tracing here, because, uh, this contact here is ripped off. So I'm just going to use this one for example. Now, <clears throat> you're going to, of course, want, uh, want some flux. You're going to need a soldering iron, and then... You will also, it's not absolutely necessary, but it can come in handy. You're also going to need some solder. Um, now, this is the uh, the best solder to use, in my opinion, is the uh, rosin core solder. Um, <clears throat> so first off, get your flux and... You can use any kind of flux, really, uh, as long as it's soldering flux. Um, this stuff is actually pretty good. Um, rosin paste flux. Now uh, you can get this off of Amazon. You can get the uh, you can get the solder off of Amazon as well. Um, so what you're going to want to do is cover your contact areas with some flux. And the flux will help guide any solder that you may be using. Um, as I said before, it's not absolutely necessary to use solder, but it is a good idea because uh, sometimes the uh, the old solder that's on there is not great and this could potentially be why uh, your game may not be working if uh, if the game's not working it's more than likely due to uh, cracked or weak uh, solder on uh, from one of the uh, ROM chips there. So, uh, I always uh, put some solder on the end of my tip before I'm done using it, so I've already got a little bit on there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and clean some of that off. Don't wanna use too much solder. Uh, Unless you want to deal with some bridging, uh, bridge the points there. Now, let's see here. Let's see if we got a good shot there for the camera. There we go. Now it's pretty simple. So. What I like to do is sometimes I'll go uh, two at a time. I'll do two at a time. And uh, this is a, a flatter uh, soldering point here. So just lay it up against there. Boom. Got that one good. Now I can do the next two. Boom. Got that next to boom now I'm going to apply a little bit more solder to my tip just a little bit next two points boom next two points boom Next two. 
them. And the final two on this side. Oop. You may need to end up using more flux. And that's going to be the case for me on these last guys here. Now, as you could see before, these uh, the solder points on here were uh, were pretty grungy and uh, gross and everything like that. So the new solder on there makes it nice and fresh. So that's how you do that. And uh, congratulations, you have just now done a reflow. Thanks for watching, guys. <clears throat> if uh, you found this video helpful. Uh, Please feel free, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, have a great day, guys.